So students, question number 1.13. Pressure is determined as force per unit area of the surface. The SI unit of pressure Pascal is shown as below where 1 Pascal is equal to Newton per meter square. If the mass of air at sea level is 1034 gram per centimeter cube per centimeter square, calculate the pressure in Pascal. So here basically you need to find out what is the pressure in terms of Pascal basically in this unit. So we will be using these values to do this method. So let's go step by step. So first thing is with, since it is all dealing with pressure, let's write down the formula for pressure. So pressure is equal to force by area. So which is also equal to in terms of weight, you can give weight by area. Now force is nothing but weight here that means force is equal to weight which can also be written as mass into gravity. Okay, so now when we try to solve this in terms of the values given to us, weight here is given as 1034 and gravity is constant value 9.8 meter per second square. So when we try to write it in this formula, it will be equal to 1034. This I am just writing it as gram by centimeter square. So here weight is in terms of gram area centimeter square into gravity. Gravity is 9.8 and this will be meter by S square. So here you will have this which is the, going to be the formula for force. Now with the given units, we know that if you want to get your 1 Pascal or 1 Newton per meter square, 1 Newton per meter square is equal to, sorry, 1 Newton is equal to 1 kg meter seconds to the power minus 2. Your final answer should be in terms of this unit. But we don't have that here. We have gram, we have centimeter square and all of that. So you need to show a change in the uh, units here. So we are going to do that one by one. So first one is, we are doing gram to kg conversion. So here we have 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. So therefore in terms of unit factor, we will get 1 kg by 1000 grams. We are going to use this along with this formula in the end. So that is for the conversion of gram per gram to kg. Now the next one is to convert 1 meter to 100 centimeter. When we write this as the unit factor, you will get 100 centimeter by 1 meter. Now because in the value here you have centimeter square, we need to square up the entire thing. So you have to square this equation. Square this equation. You will get 5 zeros, sorry 4 zeros and centimeter square divided by 1 meter square. Now we are going to substitute this value with the conversion of both this in the pressure formula. <clears throat> so when we write here pressure is equal to 1034 gram by centimeter square into 9.8 meters by seconds 
square into this value 1 kg by 1000 grams into this value next conversion 10,000 centimeter square by 1 meter square now what we are going to do is cancel out the terms we have grams that will cancel out centimeter square will also cancel out meter and meter will get cancelled out the remaining one is what we are going to calculate now when we simplify the values 1034 into 9.8 into 10,000 by 1000 your answer is going to be 101332 and what are we left out with the SI units kg meter inverse because meter is in the denominator when you take it up it becomes meter inverse similarly seconds is in the denominator when you take it up it will become seconds to the power minus 2 now 1 newton is equal to 1 kg meter seconds to the power minus 2 our value that you get here with the SI unit has to be same as this but it is not the same because we have meter inverse here. So again we need to do a unit factor to this. So for this the unit factor unit factor is 1 Newton by 1 kg meter second square. Now when we put this in the pressure formula pressure is equal to the value that you calculated so 101332 kilogram meter minus 1 seconds in to the power minus 2 into this entire factor 1 newton by 1 kilogram meter seconds to the power minus 2 now when we try to cancel out the terms kg and kg will get cancelled seconds to the power minus 2 seconds to the power minus 2 will get cancelled and what we are left out here is with n minus 1 m minus 1 in the denominator this m when it goes up it will become m to the power minus 1 when you simplify both you get m to the power minus 2 and newton so now when we write the answer we have 101332 n m to the power minus 2 because this m will go in the numerator and become minus 1 when we simplify both it will become minus 2 now here we will have to shift the decimals so we will get 1.01332 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square or this can be also written as 1.01332 10 to the power 5 pascal so here we have solved the entire question to get our answer either in newton per meter square or in pascal because here it's clearly specified the question you need to get your answer in pascal our final answer is in terms of pascal so this way when we keep doing each conversion we will get what your answer is in terms of pascal